Hey folks, Damon at Black Warrior Lures. It's cold here. You can see the ice. Just had a storm come through. And this is the rope that I, one of the ropes I used to secure it, but it's frozen as well. It's cotton ropes absorbed all the water. It's frozen, so it's going to have to let it thaw out. But someone asked, how do you secure the boat on one of these small harbor freight boat trails? I'm going to, I'm working on an infographic I can put together so we can just to summarize it very quickly. But the first thing you want to do is once you load the boat, best way to load it, these light boats are so light, I just put it on here and literally just winched it all the way onto the boat. Once I got it onto the boat, you know, you're going to keep your winch here in the locked position. That doesn't come all the way up, so that's a little disturbing for me, but uh, so I can't, that'll eventually just come off. Um, so what do you do? Well, you're going to secure it here, and I need to re-tighten this. It's come loose for some reason. And so, but anyway, you're, you're going to use a, your trucker's hitch, and I'm going to put a link to the trucker's hitch video that I talked about, and you can learn how to do that. There's three knots, a trucker's hitch, and you need, uh, well, a trucker's hitch, a stopper knot, and you need a uh, anchor knot. You can look all those up on um, on YouTube, and I, like I said, I'll try to create an infographic on that. And uh, for the first thing, you're going to secure this nose down here. You're not going to rely on this entirely because these things can fail, right? Moving parts, not good. Rope secured with really secured knots and things, that works. And so you can keep that on there, and uh, and that'll keep the nose down, all right? And because this is like this, it'll catch if it slips back. And I need to, like I said, I need to retighten it. So on the front end, you have the, the winch is locked, and then you have an additional... Uh, trucker's hitch here securing the nose down then what you have here on the back is the same thing you have handles here going down to a trucker's hitch straight down here same you got the same stopper knot anchor knot here going down to a trucker's hitch here sort of a modified trucker's hitch but a trucker's hitch nonetheless same thing on this side that's how it goes it just won't move it's, it's secure it's on there now the next thing you want to do is you want to have a rope here that you'll secure here laterally all the way to the other side and that'll be a trucker's hitch and that also what keeps this down but this is the rope I use for it but it's got to thaw out first and it's really cold out here so I don't want to stay down here too much uh, gonna have to lift this up and let this drain out uh, which to me that, that shows that all that water there and it's not flipped over it means that, that the modification we made are holding. So that's a brief uh, summary of how I secure the boat to the, the trailer. And again, the lateral rope, I'll rope it a couple of times around here, and that'll be keeping it down. So these are keeping it from moving back on the ends, and this is keeping it down from moving it sideways. And so it's very similar to how you would secure a, a um, canoe to a top of a car. Um, you're going to hook it, you're going to need to have it tied down on the front, you need to have it tied down on the back, and you need to have it tied down on the middle. That's going to prevent it from sliding back and forward and side to side. So just think about that, watch the video on the trucker's hitch and that'll be good. Alright, I'll check you guys later. Bye.